I'm Pia Toscano coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. And this is Classicalia, a brand new PBS competition that's on the search for the greatest young classical musicians in the world. And now, let's go to our host in Vienna, Arabella Fendivesh. Young artists from all over the planet entered this competition. We are bringing you the very best. 12 contestants who wowed the judges in the preliminary rounds. You're about to meet two of them. 12-year-old Sonny Ritter will go head-to-head -head in a piano showdown against 11-year-old Ryan Huang. They're both stunning musicians but only one can go on to the next round in the Classicalia Junior Division. First up, right here in Vienna with me, is Sunny. Sunny, now you won your first gold medal at piano when you were five. Yes. <laughs> now you're 12 and you have more than 25 wins under your belt. Yes. What is it that you love the most about the piano? Well, I get similar questions like this all the time. People ask me, why do you like playing the piano? And I'm like, why do you like breathing? <laughs> Music is everything to me and I can't imagine my life without it. But there's this quote, the world is not made up of atoms, it is made up of stories. Mm. I've always loved stories, but when I started playing the piano, I discovered that the stories in music are even more compelling than the stories in books. For okay. example, the Chopin piece I'm playing right now tells a beautiful story of love, struggle, reconciliation, and triumph. And that's a story we all need right now. My goodness, at 12 years old, love and reconciliation. <laughs> Sunny, I'm really looking forward to hearing Thank you play. You. Good luck. Thank you. I am so excited to introduce you to Ryan Huang, who is just about to perform in Toronto, Canada. Ryan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Are you a little nervous? Yeah, a little, always. You know. What do you do to calm those nerves and really center yourself before a big performance like this? I, I really like to feel the excitement. It's, 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 it feels pretty good for me. But like right before, right before the performance, it starts to too much. So I just, you know, sit down and read a book that. I really love that. And the butterflies are real. they're a good thing, right? Yeah. It's bad if you have too much butterflies. It's bad if you don't have any butterflies. It has to be in between. <laughs> I totally agree. And I think you have a really good remedy for that. <laughs> Ryan, we are so excited to watch you perform.
What an incredible performance. Wow, I'm glad I don't have to be a judge on this one. I don't know who I would pick, Arabella. Pia, I don't know who I would pick either. So now it's time to introduce our three judges. Albert Franz, who is a Bosendorfer artist, a concert pianist, and an educator. Gerald Grunbacher is the founder and managing director of the Vienna Mozart Orchestra and a former clarinetist with the Vienna Philharmonic. And Christina Petrowska Kuliko, who's a virtuoso pianist. It is a very difficult uh, job to be a judge, especially when performances are of high quality like this. Sometimes the difference is the composition. We have the Chopin, which is very lyrical and melodic, and then we have the more dramatic Liszt. Uh, from Toronto, I thought Ryan played with extreme energy and understanding of the piece. Uh, his technique was brilliant and all the runs, and I could hear great potential in his performance and look forward to hearing him in the future. Like truly, they were beyond their years, both performances. And while listening, I constantly had to remind myself that I was witnessing the playing of an 11 and a 12 year old. One, one small, small detail is the, the sense, and you probably, I think you'll grow into this, uh, there's a sense of musical rhetoric. So if you listen to the way language is used and inflection and language and accents and language, and if you listen to the opera of Rigoletto, then that might even give you more inspiration for how to, to continue developing this piece. Yet, in any case, just wonderful performance. So congratulations. And Sonny, I, I have to say that was a jaw-dropping performance. I did not expect this. The level of musical maturity, of artistic maturity, that you've achieved in this piece in such a short time at the age of 12 is, is, is j just astonishing. Thank you, Albert. I would say that was needy feedback, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Gerard? It's very difficult for me now to say anything <laughs> because both said already everything. It was marvelous to hear you, both of you, Sunny and Ryan. It's great, it was great. Thank you. Pia, over to you. And the winner, going on to round two of the Classicalia Junior category is... Sunny. You're going on to round two. <laughs> Congratulations, <you>. great job. <laughs> I'm so grateful, thank you so much for this possibility. <laughs> I'm kind of overwhelmed because I was really impressed by Ryan too. You should be proud. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Join us next time for more of Classicalia. I'm Pia Toscano. Ciao for now.